everyone welcome back to my channel this is Heidi from my reading life and I'm here today to film my TBR check-in and book haul for the month of September I did very well in the month of September I'm really pleased with my progress in the month of September so I read 16 books total for the month and eight of those were off my existing TBR so let's just quickly go through the ones that I read that were off my TBR I had one off the ancient TBR that was Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates. Um, I'm not going to talk about any of these because I've talked about them in previous videos. So if you want to hear reviews of them, you can look at the recent reads videos from this month or the past month in September, I should say. Um, the Plant Messiah by Carlos Magdalena, which was the Book Naturalist Book Club pick for the month of September. I read Thunderstruck by Eric Larson. The Deficit Myth by Stephanie Kelton. The Heartbeat of Trees by Peter Wollenbin, um, and translated from the uh, German by Jane Billinghurst. And then three books for the Book Two Prize: Red Comet by Sylvia. Um, I'm sorry, Red Comet by Heather Clark about Sylvia Plath. Inferno: A Memoir of Motherhood and Madness by Catherine Cho. And After the Last Border by Jessica Goudon. Okay, so those are the books off the TBR that I read. So let's look at the balance sheet. So for the month of September, I read eight books total off the shelves. I brought in four books and I unhauled zero books and that gives me a minus four for the month. So that brings me down to 130, the lowest that it's been since I started this balance sheet type project two years ago, 130 books total on the physical TBR right now. So that's awesome. That is so good. So let's talk about what books I brought in. Only four. I did really well. Not going to talk about October yet because this is September's TBR haul. Um, but we'll see what happens after October, which is my birthday month. So I went to my local elementary school's uh, scholastic book fair because as you do. Um, I wanted to pick up some picture books for my grandson, which I did. And then I also saw this book for $5, which is Stargazing by Jen Wang. This is a middle grade um, graphic novel. And I really like graphic novels from this age group. I find them really relaxing to read and just a nice palette cleanser. And this one looks super cute. Um, so this one is about a um, is about the Chinese American community and about um, a young girl who uh, somebody new moves into their community and so she has he's a little bit different but um, she learns about him and um, you know I guess they have some kind of a friendship going on um, I don't know we're gonna find out this is a middle grade graphic novel I'm excited to read at some point then I have two books here sent to me all the way from Japan by Sean at Sean the Book Maniac. These are two books that he was clearing out of his home and he had asked me if I was interested in them and I very much was. And so he sent me Lady Anna by Anthony Trollope. I am a huge Anthony Trollope fan um, and I am going to be read, trying to read some short stories by Anthony Trollope. I don't think I will get to this one this year for Victober, um, but I do really love Anthony Trollope so I'm excited to have this one on my shelves. And then this one, Five Wives by Joan Thomas. This is a novel and this takes place in 1956 and it's about a group of Christian missionaries that go to Ecuador um, to, uh, you know, minister to the native tribes there. And the men in this group, they, they men, uh, these, their husband and wife go together and the men go into the rainforest and don't come back. And then so the wives and the children are left to fend for themselves. And so it's about what happens to um, these women and children that are left on their own without any men to uh, help them. And it is a fictional account of a real life incident that happened. So which was called Operation Aka, A-U-C-A. So I'm very much interested. I like these types of stories where... Um, people go to uh, far off places and get stuck <laughs> in wilderness type situations and then have to survive on their own. So that's my 
kind of story. So I'm interested in this one and very excited to check this out. I've never heard of Joan Thomas, um, but it looks like she is a Canadian author. So that's fun. So looking forward to that one. And then another um, one that I'm super excited for, and I've already started reading this one. I'm buddy reading it with Joe Smith, and that is The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. Joe and I have been reading through Ruth Ozeki's catalog, and um, we've read everything by her except for this brand new book that just came out. Um, and so we've already started reading it. You can see where my bookmark is. I'm about 100 pages my yeah 120 pages into this one and this story is um it's it's a strange story because the narrator there there's an, the the book itself is the narrator of the story and then a young boy named Benny sort of inter interjects his his thoughts in between Benny's the sort of the main character so this story is about Benny who is um is uh his dad was Japanese and his mom is uh, white American and um, his dad is killed. That's not a spoiler. It happens right in the beginning of the book. And it's then the story of Benny and his mom as they try to like navigate the world without um, husband and father and what happens to them. And Benny, um, Benny's struggling. And um, yeah, it's, it's strange so far. I'm finding it difficult to talk about because it's, I'm 120 pages in in this. It's a little bit weird, uh, but it's also very, very compelling. I really love Ruth Ozeki's writing style. Um, and I will say that if you are, um, obviously if you're watching this video, you're probably a person that loves books and reading. And this book so far is a love letter to books and reading. And so I'm really very much enjoying um, that aspect of this. And I really love Benny as a character and his mom, Annabelle is really great too. So, um, yeah, really enjoying this so far and just wondering how, what, where Ozeki is going with all of this. So yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be a book haul, not a review. So <laughs> I don't know why I just got off into that, but I did. So book of form and emptiness, brand new book by Ruth Ozeki, super excited by this one. And it is a bit of a chunker. So that's it. That's the four books that I hauled in the month of September. So like I said, I got the I got the TBR down to 130, which is awesome. So if you remember, these top two shelves right here behind me are my ancient TBR. And the goal for this year was to get through all these books, either to read them or to try them or to decide to move them out of the house if I was no longer interested in them. And so we are into October and we still have quite a few books on these two shelves that we need to decide what we're going to do with. So I think what I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks is I will be having a couple of videos come out, um, sort of trash my TBR type videos, where I go through what books are on these shelves and talk to you about them and ask your opinions uh, about whether they are books that I should be really trying to get to or whether or not it's okay to like just get them out of the house. Um, so look forward to those. Um, and yeah, I think that's all there is for this video. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read and I will talk to you later.